All right, since Mike has no clue how to use a Gibo, we are on take two. But this is the trilogy of transmissions, basically. Um, this is everything you could ever hope and dream of for a transmission in the uh, year 2022. For real. If I had a six HP, it would really be. So actually, uh, what yeah. Is a what is a quad? A quad what is a it's a quadrilogy. Is it really no. quadrilogy? No, <laughs> I don't it's know. definitely not. I don't know what a quad series is, but if I had the six HP, it would really be everything. Because I started in a six HP, and then I did the manual swap from a wrecked car. And then I was gonna consider doing the DCT, which is what we did in Mike's E46, which is sweet. DCT. So I was like all sold on it. But now, Bartek and HTG have come so far with the 8HP that I was like, well, it's even easier for people to swap, especially like I'm keeping OEM, ECU, Dash, OEM, ECU, so yeah. like, you can do it with DCT. It's just a little bit more complicated. So. We're like, well, the 8HP works sweet. I mean, it's stupid fast in the Supra, it's stupid fast in F30s. It's, it can hold the power, which is a big concern for people with like, if you just have a normal B58 auto, cause like you can't actually control the insides. Like yeah. you can get a flash and stuff like that, but you're still not gonna be able to hold the so big power. The, the HTG want. can increase the pressures like with no OEM limits. Yeah, so, so they, and these are proven to hold over 600 foot pounds of torque, 650 foot pounds of torque. You can do an 8HP70 and basically hold yeah. a thousand so the issue, on stock torque converter. And the big issue too is like the 8HP70 that I see a couple people here once in a while yeah. swapping into these cars is from the diesel. Yeah. And those are really hard to find. Especially in the US. Yes. They're like much more common in Europe because everything was diesel and we just don't. We don't have it. So yeah. I was like, we were looking for the, one of those and we're like, wait a second. What if our adapter partner, Adamat, just makes us a custom adapter for the N54 to the B58 yeah. 8HP50? And we're like, Okay, and they were just like, okay, so yeah, here we are. It's just like, give me the transmission and I'll make it. For so you. here's the new adapter from Adamat that joins the uh, BB8 transmission to the N54. It's super sweet, it's lightweight, it's all billet aluminum, made in Poland. The guys are G's. Um, and in the meantime, because we thought we were doing DCT, we also made a DCT adapter kit. Now, the reason we did this, because yes, they are the same bell housing pattern, is because the OEM DCT flywheels feature a sprung hub flywheel. Now, the ones that are available for the eight bolts for the N54 either our solid hub flywheels from like M factory, which hurt the baskets, or it's like the unobtainable 335 yeah, IS. Like three months of like a production build that like you can get for like twice as much money as this. Yeah, so just have, like they're just unobtainium. So we ended up making we this. We looked really hard. Like we looked really hard and we couldn't, we just literally couldn't find any. We called every junkyard possible, every Yeah, so, so this is the new solution. We're making this too. It's basically just a pass through spacer plate to give more room for the sprung hub and uh, the sprung hub flywheel, which is just like we do in all our LS, RB, JZ, BMW uh, DCT adapter kits. And then of course we have like a uh, stage, whatever this thing is, you know. <laughs> we sold David's transmission because his car's down, but I mean, basically I have a spec stage three plus. Yeah. <laughs> so what was the mass flywheel? What, what, like, what were the weights? Cause they are surprisingly not as crazy as we thought. Throw these down, boom, here we go. Manual transmission with Flywheel and clutches, 172 pounds. More than I expected after More living with high speeds. More than I expected, yes. DCT, no fluid, so a little biased, but 205. So add. Yeah, and that's with the uh, that's with stuff. Yeah, that's with everything. And then the 8 HP is 175. Really, not, much less so, than I expected. Yeah, I know. So technically, it's like on paper, part for part, is like a three pound weight gain. I mean, plus some fluid. But again, yeah, I mean, we're talking like. It's not like the old days of automatics to manuals where you had a ZF5 speed that was this long and <laughs> yeah. you could literally curl with one hand and you were like, wow, this weighs 48 pounds. And then you went to an automatic, which was the size of a minivan, and you tried <laughs> to pick it up and you needed three dudes and a forklift because it weighed 400 pounds. Yeah, so this is like really the most modern transmission on the market right now. It's the reason almost all OEMs actually feature it in their lineup, whether it's BMW, Dodge, Maserati, anything really. They're featuring it. Mercedes, everybody. Yeah, Rolls Royce, everybody's using yeah, these things. It's literally just what you do for automatic transmission. The eight speed. It's so good nowadays that BMW left the DCT and went back in the G80 to the. Yes, yeah, see, so the G80 the, uses it too. So, I mean, like, this eight speed is so much more efficient than, like, for, say, like, my dad's El Camino, which has, like, a built <laughs> three speed or something. I, we, he hits the gas and it just makes noise. I don't really know what, where the power goes. <laughs> But uh, for example, he's coming in and we're going to swap an 8HP into his LS drag car also. But for the road racing, we're going to, well, let's just see what these guys are doing. All the Supers are fast these days. The chassis is not too different than this. We have the 48, so it definitely puts the power down well. And a giant CES single turbo. 
So we're gonna see what happens with the 8 HP swap, and we're gonna. It literally shifts as fast as a DCT. I yeah. Mean, basically. Basically, like, like you can't tell. Can't tell the difference. No, like, and I mean, I mean, sure, we're talking fractions of a millisecond here, but like for the normal person and the 8 HP, like if I. Not that like I drag race, but like we live on a sweet street. Trans break. So, like, I'm gonna have trans break. So trans break too. all goes through the HTG. Also, you can have clutch by wire, which is a you put a potentiometer on the clutch pedal, and you can dump the clutch or slip the clutch like you had uh, in the manual. It's yeah. gonna be so cool. I just slip the clutch like all the manual. <laughs> <Yeah. parts. laughs> if you miss slipping your clutch, you can still. Well, slip for your loading clutch. on trailers, it's really bad, <laughs> I guess. So, uh, in other news, we have this 8 HP harness ready to go. So this is how you adapt the 8 HP to the GCU. This is the gearbox controller that we're going to integrate into the car. Now, the only things you really need to do to integrate a GCU into your car is connect to the can to the two wires behind the OBD, which are the can wires, and then also intercept the throttle pedal sensor wires. Um, going to the ECU, so you're going to locate those going from the Basically pedal. Basically right at the back of the pedal, and then yeah. we're going to splice into those wires, go to the GCU first. And then go to the GCU, then from the GCU go back to where those wires are going. The ECU doesn't even know it's there, essentially, and the GCU is going to alter the throttle position um, to, do, blips, to do the cuts and blips. Like it's so easy now. There's no sending signals there and there. Yeah, there. I don't need an ECU to control my throttle to do the cuts and blips. The GCU is going to fake those signals and handle it all in the trans controller. So that so way cool. the stock ECU is going to have no clue, but it's not going to be like a weird thing for it to handle. Like it'll just be like, oh, I have to blip right now. Yeah, the, so, someone or hit the so gas. All right, like, here we go. Yeah, it's like, so it's, that's going to be great. I yeah. can't wait to see this. And I think we're going to do uh, paddles in the wheel. Yes. And also and I'm going to do a center shifter. This, the sequential just, style. It's sick. So the only thing this car is going to have really is a center shifter, a neutral button, and two paddles. It's going to be full race car, but if you want to use an OEM shifter to have like, you know, all the fancy like, oh, I'm going into drive, oh, you, you can do that too. Yeah. But we're keeping this full race car and uh, going to see what happens. Don't overcomplicate it. No, yeah, but I'm excited for this. I really like the stock shifter, but. I mean, some guys, you know, the OEM plus. I mean, this could be OEM plus. I just am not really OEM plus. Anymore. No, we're probably gonna take that NVH material off too for weight. Yeah, that's weight just save. Look at that. That's like a half a pound of weight oh savings. Oh my right god. Now. That's like I can eat lunch now at the track. Yeah. I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> because you weren't eating. <laughs> yeah. I was starving myself to get those tents. Yeah, but so this is pretty cool stuff. It's the future, you know. I mean, the six speeds are cool. Um, but they're kind of just like, eh, I don't know. With this new stuff available, like, why not? You can just keep your clutch pedal. You can shift faster. You, I don't know. Unless I don't, you're like a diehard purist, but then you probably have a S65 and you're just on Facebook ranting about how awesome your S65 is. So they don't even ask what transmission you have. Yeah, this is and true. like these are fast, like, but like it is like just physically proven that like automatics are faster. Yeah, it's not 1982 anymore. And yeah, like, and these are race cars, so we're going racing. We're going so actually, in the M235i factory race car, you can buy from the factory BMW, like the body and white, no vid on it, just a full race car, has the 8HP50 in it. Yeah. Super cool. So it actually is used in racing environment. Um, you, it prevents yourself from uh, doing money shifts. You can't hurt it. They just yeah. are using endurance racing. I don't Even know. Even if like you are a sweet manual driver, like going fifth to third, at heavy braking is hard for anyone, even if you are good at heel towing. Like, this is a video game now. I'm gonna click twice. Yeah, eight speeds. Gonna, so you're going right six to, to seven to eight. Yeah, you're just at it. Yeah. Buy a forward 10 speed eventually. Probably, literally. <laughs> if you just wanna keep going. Literally. But also, like, with the 8 HP, like, I don't have to change my rear diff at all. So, no. like, this is sweet as so well. It has the 327 in there now. We're gonna leave it in there. And if we wanna make an adjustment later, we can, but definitely yeah, not necessary. But, I mean, I could go back down to a 308, but, like, the 327 was a little sportier, and again, like, we're racing like if you do half mile highway stuff then sure maybe yeah keep a 308 but like this thing doesn't need to do 200 miles an hour no i'm pretty excited though it's gonna be pretty sweet so again the htg is the gearbox control unit we're using to integrate into the oem can and uh wiring harness with the throttle pedal and then we're saying wire power and ground to it um, we have harnesses available on the website um, for the DCT and the 8HP, also a couple others coming soon, and we have these adapters, um, so just hit yeah, us we up. we have plenty of adapters. <laughs> I don't even, these ones, we got two JZ, two JZs, LSs. And then we got even more over there. Mini We're stacked with adapters, so if you guys need adapters for any cool transmission project, projects, yeah, we are the biggest up. distributor in the US, so give us a shout, we have the good stuff. The got future. Good, we got that good. good. It kind of looks like it. it does look like cocaine bushes. <laughs> like if this fell out of an airplane, I'd, yeah, I'd, it definitely I definitely came out of the back of an airplane and the cop just keeps yeah. driving up and down the road. Yeah. And I'm like, what's this? Huh? This is uh, floating sorry. off the keys and yeah. it gets picked up by a boat. <laughs> so, yeah. It's that Polish good, good. 
<laughs> All right, yeah, so I you know this isn't going to be the video of us actually installing it or anything. Just some cool info. This is just, you know, good info to get out there for people so you know what your options are now. The future is now. The future is now. Probably, yeah, now we'll go do cool things like launch comparisons with the manual and the automatic. Mm -hmm. Maybe some donuts of both just to show that it's still possible. You can people do literally it. ask on Facebook sometimes, like, can I do burnouts in my automatic? Like, yes. Yes, you can. I am. Uh, don't yes. know why you wouldn't be able to. Yeah, I hope, I hope people, you do. People ask, so we're just gonna give the people what they want. And yeah, we're gonna go fast. Sounds good. In a straight line, and the track.